As you watch the following segment, think about how dolphins and bats use echolocation to navigate their worlds. Light travels very poorly in water. Its energy decreases rapidly when it is absorbed by water. Sound, on the other hand, travels extremely well in water. Dolphins communicate with one another by transmitting and receiving different sounds. Squeaks, grunts, moans. But one sound in particular, the click, is the sound dolphins make when they are using their sonar. The use of sonar by animals to navigate through their environment, locate food, or avoid obstacles is called echolocation. Their sonar helps dolphins see, but they don't use it all the time. When they're simply swimming in open water, dolphins don't need to echolocate. They listen for sound cues to get their bearings. They hear waves breaking on the seashore. They will hear the noise of shipping in a harbor. You'll hear the clinking chains of a mooring, for example. So they will travel quite happily in total darkness and swim quite fast without echolocating to avoid bumping into things. Dave Goodson is a sonar engineer who studies dolphins. He says the sonar signal takes a lot of muscular energy to produce. Dolphins use it to navigate difficult spaces and primarily to find food. When they use the active sonar, it's because they need to. They have to identify a swimming prey, lock onto it, guide their mouth to the actual fish. It's equivalent to us reaching out across the dinner table to pick up a piece of food, but it takes quite a lot of energy. Here's how dolphin sonar works. A dolphin makes a series of clicks by moving air through the nasal sacs located near its blowhole, a nostril on top of its head. The vibrations from the clicks travel to an area in the dolphin's forehead called the melon, which is filled with fat. The melon acts as a kind of acoustical lens to focus the sound waves into a narrow beam. The dolphin sends out the sound waves in short pulses. Just as in sonar that submarines use, the sound waves bounce off objects. The dolphin receives the echoes in its lower jaw, which is connected by nerves to its brain. The dolphin's brain receives the nerve impulses from the jaw and interprets the echoes, just as our brains interpret light received through our eyes. The time it takes for an echo to leave the dolphin and bounce back tells the dolphin how far away the target is. Other qualities of the reflected sound, such as amplitude and frequency, let the dolphin know the object's size, shape, surface texture, and the speed at which it's moving. All of this happens in a fraction of a second. Just to put it into perspective, a bottlenose dolphin can see something the size of an orange about 80 meters ahead of him. And that is approximately equivalent to the echo it would get from quite a large fish, but one that it could still swallow whole. Dave Goodson continues to study dolphins in the hope that he can better understand how dolphins manage such precision in their use of echolocation. <laughs> 